ODI's unique contribution comes from, from two aspects, I think. One is doing good evidence-based research, and then secondly, knowing and understanding how policy processes work so that they can marry up their, their evidence and the work that they've done to shape and influence policy. And that's, that's easier said than done. Uh, you've got to have world-class researchers, but then you've got to have people who are able to communicate that effectively and well. And ODI has done really well at the second. They've had people who've been able to network uh, in international institutions, uh, with politicians, but also with, with officials and other think tankers, uh, and really shape, uh, shape some key policy debates. And in that sense, they've been, they've been very effective. Well, I'm sure everyone who sits in this chair will tell you the same thing. We'd all like to see ourselves out of a job. Um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that that will happen in the next 40 years. Uh, so whilst I'd like to see myself out of a job, I fear that there will be somebody like me sitting in this chair still in 40 years' time. How would I like the job that we're doing to be different? Uh, I'd like international development to be much more closely built into the international system so that we have less a sense of, of uh, rich countries and poor countries, rich countries doling out aid to poor country recipients. I'd like to see uh, aid and development uh, built into international organizations and in, into, into international systems of governance so that developing countries receive assistance where they need it as a matter of right uh, rather than as a, with, with some faint whiff of charity still attached to it.